Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today is a little mummy sit down video for you guys. I thought I would film a newborn must have. I know I've done a newborn must have with Milano, but this one is a newborn must have when you have a toddler. Does that make sense? So newborn must haves for two under two. That's what today is because trust me, they are different. I didn't think they would be, but I am genuinely surprised. Like I did the different things that I have needed. So I'm just gonna jump right in, starting off with the things that are new, that are our new must haves and starting off with some of our good old favorites from whenever Milano was a newborn. I'm gonna start off with the, the item that we have used the most, which is the Stoke Trip Trap. Milano has this high chair and um, I knew it came from newborn, but we didn't actually get it for him whenever he was newborn because we bought him a different high chair and then discovered it wasn't very good and then made the investment of the Stoke Trip Trap. So then whenever I knew I was pregnant with Monica, I was like, I'm gonna get the newborn seat for it as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but I do know that I will use the high chair later on. And if I don't use it, I will sell the newborn bit, but I'm just gonna give it a go. Let me tell you guys, one of the most used items for us, because Milano had the Mamoru, which was on our old must-have video, and it really, really was a must-have. But you can't use that with a toddler. You can't put your baby in a bouncer because the toddler wants to be in the bouncer with the baby. Mama Roo is literally just sat in a cupboard and the Trip Trap high chair has been used every single day. Milano can go over to Monaco and he can see him, but he doesn't like try shaking him or anything like that. He totally accepts that he's in there. He's up a bit higher, he's at my eye level and it's just a lot safer. Monaco also loves it. I have tried him in the mama room um, on his own whenever Milano hasn't been there and he's not that fussy, he much prefers the Stoke Trip Trap. So if you are pregnant and you're about to enter into the 202 life, I highly recommend that you invest in a newborn high chair because the baby is then up higher and out of reach of your toddler basically. Milano can still go over and like touch his toes and that and like he likes to say hello and it's just it's just been a great investment for our family. So I would definitely look into one of them. Item number two, which again is a bit of um oh it's not like an investment but it's very expensive for what it is because it is just a change in mat but it's the Ollie and Ella um, change in basket and I seen this like ages ago I wasn't even pregnant but I did have Milano and I was like I need that basket in my life I need it but I was like it's a bit it's a bit extra because of the price of it I was like do we really need to be spending that on a change mat because Milano's change mat that we got was super cheap but it was just one of the like plastic change mats and it was fine but I was like no we're not really buying much for Monaco, like he had all his bedroom furniture, like he had a lot of stuff used from his brother. So I was like, right, I'll get the basket and it can be like a statement piece in his bedroom. Let me just tell you, I am so glad that we did because whenever you have a tiny, tiny newborn and you put them on that plastic changing mat, well to me anyway, I find it like very unsafe, but whenever you put them in the basket, obviously you never leave them unattended, but you just feel, because the sides are higher, you just feel a bit more secure. And I just think it's, it is just better, you know, to change them on that area. And if you want, you can bring your basket like down into the living room or anywhere with you, so it's fine. Some babies also like do tummy time in the basket or like play in the basket and things like that. So it's not just for changing, um, but for the changing, I do find it a lot better and a lot safer and a lot more comfortable. And Monaco is a good bit smaller than Milano. Um, so I did notice the difference in the smallness and I think I would have just been a lot more conscious of him on that big open mat, whereas this way he was a bit more confined and I just felt better about it. And even also Mr. Murray, he was like, can't believe you're spending this much, much money on a basket. And now he was like, make sure you mention the basket in your must have video, even he's convinced. The next one, which is a new item, is the Love to Dream Swaddles. They come in all different togs, um, and obviously Monica was a winter baby, so we've got the like nice 
cozy, heavy tog. Um, but I originally got the Tommy Tippy ones because I could just get them on Amazon and I was like, the Love to Dream ones were a good bit more expensive and I was like, oh, he might like the Tommy Tippy ones, like obviously lots of babies do, but he just wasn't free enough. Like I know swaddling's all about being like tight and swaddled and whatnot, but the Tommy Tippy ones, it was like literally like this and he just didn't like them. The Love to Dream ones, they lie like this and this is self-soothing because they can like access their hands and self-soothe but they've still got like the tightness of being in the womb so yeah i really really love the love to dream not only are they like help them self-soothe he knows whenever it's bedtime whenever i put, the, put it on him they're also the right tog so you know he's warm and yeah they're just they're just a really really good item and um, if you are having a baby i would definitely recommend them and they come in like different stages as well so he's on the newborn stage and then whenever he gets a bit bigger I'll get the new ones and then eventually his arms can pop out of them so yeah check out their website totally recommend the love to dream swaddles the last one on our new items of what we're using for our newborn is the Cybex Gazelle double pram <laughs> like when we first got our our first pram for Milano we were like oh we'll get this one it's so pretty it's this that but it just didn't work it just didn't work for us and it just wasn't the pram for us basically then I knew we were having two under two and I knew we would need a double pram like that is just like that's just what you need is a double pram so I knew the gazelle was coming out and we had to wait for it for a while because Monica was born a bit early and it hadn't fully been released yet but it came in December and let me tell you guys amazing Milano even loves it and I just love that the um, newborn bit is the car seat and I know you can't keep your baby in the car seat you know if you're like out walking around or whatever that's why they give you the long like big lie down part of the pram isn't it but with the Cybex, it can actually lie completely flat. So you don't need to take your baby out of the car seat and then into the pram. You can just flip it off, clip it onto the pram and pull it down. And then you're, you know your baby's safe and he, he can breathe properly and he has loads of room to spread out. So that was literally a game changer for me because that big lying down bit takes up a lot of room in the car. Transferring the newborn out, setting them in. It's just like time wasted with a toddler. So this has just been so, so handy for me. And you just clip it off, on it goes, pull it down and off you go. Like honestly, a game changer. So if you are pregnant with two under two, totally look in to getting a Cybex. Definitely another bit of an investment piece, but if you need to get a new pram anyway, then that should definitely be the pram for you. I'm now just going to go over some of our old baby must-haves that are still must-haves for us even with the second baby. The first one is the eyelet sock. Absolutely amazing. Even with two babies I can monitor them at the same time which again is just so good that you don't have to like switch between profiles or anything. They're both there which is amazing and it just gives me peace of mind and I know that they're safe. Both my babies were in ICU so they always had the oxygen they always had their oxygen being tested um so i just feel like a lot more a lot more at peace knowing that that is monitoring their oxygen levels and their heart rate so yeah i would 110 percent always recommend the outlet sock like i just don't understand whenever there's technology out there like the outlet why you wouldn't use it of course it's not 110 percent reliable nothing is but I would just rather have a little bit more peace of mind that like that's monitoring them but yeah it's not for everyone because some people say oh it gives them like anxiety because they're constantly checking it but I would rather constantly be checking it than not have it at all that's just my personal opinion and it is genuinely something I couldn't live without we had a bit of a, a, a red alarm with Milano um, a couple of months back because his bedroom it was too hot, the Dyson fan failed and it went to like super super roast and hot mode and honestly we wouldn't have known that unless the red alarm had went off on the outlet because his oxygen levels were, were dropping so like 
to me it is just absolutely priceless. Whenever that happened I was so shook up and I was like 110% we are ordering it today for baby Monaco. Like I was pregnant at the time and I hadn't ordered it yet and I was like no I woke up the next day and I was like I need to order this because if this baby comes early and I haven't got the eyelet sock like I won't be able to sleep. So yeah the eyelet sock is amazing in my opinion. The next one and I use this for Milano too. Um, is the boba wrap. I'm probably using it a bit more this time around because obviously I can't just put Monaco down on the floor if he's being fussy like to like play on his play mat or anything like that because I have a toddler who would just want to play on the play mat and um, so I have to put him in the wrap if I'm making Milano lunch or anything like that but 110% recommend baby wearing anyway whether it's two under two or just one baby because there's just something so relaxing about wearing your baby and it keeps them so relaxed and it's just like a really nice bonding experience. It's nice to go out for a walk with them in the wrap or around the house. Like I can get so much cleaning done. I can play with Milano. I can do loads. If Monica wants to be held, I can just put them in the wrap and I've got free arms. And the bubble wrap is amazing material. It's just so, so nice. And I've now had it for 19 months and it's still like brand new. What we've really used this time around is black and white baby books. We didn't use them with Milano because one, he wasn't really that interested and two, he used to watch the black and white TV on YouTube. But of course, Milano has control of the TV so Monaco doesn't have that option. Um, so we've used the books a lot this time around and Monaco seems to really like them. He's not like, he doesn't get bored of one page or anything. Milano, if he had to put one page in front of him after about not even a minute, he was like, turn the page like crying whereas Monica will sit and look at it for ages like he's happy and content so we have used the black and white books a lot more this time around again this is just like a must have for our family at the moment with having two under two um, but yeah they're cheap so if I was you and you're pregnant with two under two definitely get some black and white books <laughs> The next one is our Sleepyhead, which has now changed its name in Europe as well to Doc Tot. Um, totally recommend that. Both my boys loved them. Um, Milano has the large Sleepyhead that he still uses. Monaco loves his Sleepyhead as well. And again, it's not for everyone, so I'm not going to get into a big debate about it. But I'm just saying that I recommend it, even for like day sleep, tummy time day play I still think you need somewhere to like put your baby and know that they're safe and that is definitely one for me it's, it's fine if they're not for you just move along but I I couldn't live without it and I love if we ever go away anywhere that we can bring them and then they know that that's their bed like they're not like oh this is a foreign place where have you put me like it's just like you have their bed at all times so yeah they're definitely a must have for me not a must have for everyone, but look into yourself, do some research, but I'm just giving you my opinion on them. I love them. Next one on the list is a white noise machine. Um, everyone needs a white noise machine in their lives. We had a bit of like a, oh, trying to get a white noise machine sorted with Milano because I didn't want one that connected to the internet because if the internet went down, the white noise went down and we just wanted it to be continuous play. I didn't want it to stop. Um, so we did find one, I'll put a little picture here um, of what it is and yeah, we got one from Monaco too of course and then it means that they have the same white noise so if, again if we go away anywhere and they have to share a room together then they're used to the same white noise and yeah it's just super handy, you just plug it in, press on, that's the kind of white noise I needed in my life. I know I harp on about this all the time but zippy baby goes. <laughs> And more so this time around because I've had a winter baby. Like we live in Spain, so with Milano it was just like a little vest whenever he was born because it was summer. And then I transitioned whenever it started to get colder, but he was bigger into Zippy Baby Girls. But even for newborns, Zippy Baby Girls are a game changer. I had one baby girl at Christmas because it was like a Christmassy one and it had bottoms. And let me tell you, <laughs> I was like, whoa. Do people actually button baby girls a whole day because it just takes so long like you haven't got time for that you definitely don't have time for that whenever you have a toddler running around as well so baby girl put them in zip them up go 
Whereas the buttons, and then they go round the legs, they go up. Some don't button the same as others, like they're just an absolute nightmare. Slippy Baby Gross are sheer bliss. I get all of mine from H&M. There's not a, a large variety. You can get a lot more variety in the buttoned ones, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And Slippy Baby Gross are hard to find, but the ones on H&M are very good quality. If you filter through, you can get nice enough designs and yeah, definitely go order some Zippy Baby Grows. I know Marks and Spencers also do Zippy Baby Grows and there is other places like Posh Peanut do Zippy Baby Grows. It just depends on the price range that you want to spend but I find that H&M is the best value for money whenever it comes to the Zippy Baby Grow. <laughs> Last but not least is the Little Ones Sleep Program. Again, I talk about this all the time, but that is because it is generally life changing. Whenever we had Milano, he did not sleep at all, and it was like four o'clock in the morning one time, and I'd heard about Little Ones, and I'd kind of researched it, and I was like, how is this gonna work? This is not gonna work. It's an app. It's not gonna make my child sleep. But then it was four o'clock in the morning after two months of not sleeping, and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to buy it and I just bought it and no joke guys, whenever I sat down and I read through it and then whenever we started doing what the app told us to do, the next night he slept through from 7 until 7, like I could not believe it. So I knew this time around I was going to be getting the newborn schedule from Little Ones for Monaco and we are now I think four weeks in to the newborn schedule. He does all his day naps in full and he is only waking about twice in the night and that is just amazing for a breastfed baby, you know, because a lot of the time they kind of want to eat every hour or sometimes every two hours, but he's like only waking up like twice in the night. Like I am fresh, like I am a mum of two, under two, and I feel fresh. And it's all thanks to little ones. They've kindly given me a discount code, which is Mega Murray. Use that at checkout for some money off. And yeah, definitely, 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 definitely the little ones app. If it is, if it's the only baby thing that you buy, well, that and the the high up high chair and the outlet. If they're the three things that you only buy whenever you're pregnant with two under two, that will be a very very good investment for you, hundred percent. So that is the end of our newborn must-haves. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell so you do not miss any of our videos. I will be back doing more mummy videos, more routine videos, and we will be back on the weekends doing our also oh family weekend vlogs. I really hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.